Friends, I'm Eric Harrison. In this video, I'm going to give you the five steps that you need to take to work on your personal development plan. Let's get started and I'll explain what a personal development plan is and why it's important for you. So I, for over 30 years, really over 40 years, have worked for myself, owned my own businesses, helped other people, worked with customers, tried to help them achieve all that they wanted to get out of life. In 2019, I left to begin writing, speaking, and coaching in order to help fulfill really what Zig Ziglar said so well so many years ago, that you can have everything in life you want if you'll just help enough other people get what they want. So friend, I want to help you get what you want to achieve out of life. And I assure you, if you will go over these five steps that I'm going to present in this video, if you'll get the free PDF that's available in the notes below, and you'll study that and work on these five steps day after day, week after week, month after month, you can and you will begin to get everything in life that you want. Now, these five steps are independent of one another, but they are each equally important just as well. So the order I'm going in here is not necessarily the order you have to go in in order to work your personal development plan, but they are all important to get the most out of your personal development plan. So don't skip any steps. Don't bail out early on this video, you want to hear, you want to make notes on, you want to get that PDF, and you want to apply each and every one of these five steps. Okay, so here we go. Step number one, you want to go from success to significance. Many of you have probably achieved some level of success in your life at this point. It could be personal, professional, any number of things that you've done. But here's the thing. Success is fleeting, right? As soon as we achieve one thing, we're on to the next thing. It's never enough to just say, oh, well, I, I was successful. Because why? Because success is based on circumstances. So you need to go from circumstantial success to convincing victories. That's what significance is and the difference between significance and success. You need to go from hoping things that are, going to, are going to work out to knowing that things are going to work out. From happiness to joy. Yes, when we achieve success in our lives, we're happy. But then very quickly, that happiness goes away when we realize we're still unfulfilled by our success. And so we want to turn the page on that and stop just trying to achieve happiness over and over again because we all know that's impossible. Life doesn't work that way. So instead of working for happiness, we need to work for joy. And the biggest difference I can give you between significance and success is significance is focused on all about what you can get, what you can do, what you can achieve. And when you move from success to significance, you begin to start thinking about what can I do for other people? How can I help them be and do and have more? And when you do this, friend, not only will you be successful, but you will begin to live a life of significance. Okay. Number two, let's talk about going from significance to legacy. And this is really, really important because, yes, significance is definitely somewhere you want to go. But significance talks and looks at intentions. You know, you intend to do things. And legacy gets into purpose, okay? Because instead of intending to do things, you are doing things on purpose with the idea that, yes, you are going to leave a legacy behind, okay? So whether you intend to or not, you are going to leave a legacy. So as long as you're going to leave one, 
why don't you do it on purpose? And that's where we start getting this legacy mindset. We go from living well to living a life well lived, okay? Do you see the difference? Or is it making sense what I'm saying here? I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree? Because if you're going to leave a legacy, you're going to leave a life, you're going to live a life that was well lived. You're going to leave behind clues and things that you did that will make a difference long after you're gone. Okay? And the third thing about significance to legacy is you go from the physical to the eternal. Okay? So we're still thinking about things that we do, things that we get, things that we achieve when we're talking about significance. Legacy is eternal. Legacy is somewhat spiritual even because what you leave behind is what you're going to be remembered by. So always remember to think about the eternal versus the physical. That is, my friends, the difference between success and significance and significance and legacy. Those are two very important lessons that you can and should work on every day. And I will tell you, I believe you can work on those every day for the rest of your life and never be finished. And to me, that's exciting. What do you think? Leave some comments for me below. I'd love to know what you think about success and significance, significance and legacy. But to me, this is what I'm trying to work towards, helping you not just to achieve success, but to really leave a legacy. Okay, let's move to uh, number three. You need to get clarity. Now, so many of us leave busy, lead busy lives, right? We go from one day to the next day to the next week, the next month, and we wake up and I'm filming this video. It's November. It's hard to believe that this year is almost over. And many of you will say, thank God 2020 is almost over. But you need to set aside intentional and quite a bit of time to get clarity. You need to be able to devote enough time to discover what are your dreams, what are your goals. And the only way to do that is to take time. You can't do that in short snippets and in between all of the activities. I don't have to tell you how quickly time goes by. So you need to schedule in your calendar, block the time, take enough. It could be hours. It could be a full day. Whatever it is, you need to get clarity on what it is you want to do. And you need to identify what are your goals and your dreams. And in addition to setting aside the time and to getting clarity on those goals and dreams, you need to write them down. This is so important. You have to write down what those goals and dreams are. Because if you don't, they're just ideas that are in your mind with the thousands of other ideas and intentions and things that you're working on that may come out again and may not. The old adage is very true. A goal properly written is halfway accomplished. You need to write down all your goals and dreams and work on that list. Add things to it. Take things off, whatever you need to do. But you need to write them down. Okay, uh, the fourth thing is you need to find accountability. Friend, if you're working on a goal or a dream that you can do by yourself, your goal or dream isn't big enough. You need to have a dream where you need help. You need someone to come alongside you, to push you, to encourage you, to help you get to where you want to go. Don't set those goals so small that you can easily do them by yourself because I believe that you can do abundantly more than you think you're capable of if you will find a person to help you be accountable. Now, I wanna clear up a, a misconception about accountability because I don't believe that accountability conveys weakness. I think it shows that you are interested in consistent growth. So accountability does not mean 
that you can't handle something and you can't do it yourself. Accountability means I want to grow. I want to progress from where I am now to where I want to get to. That's what accountability is. Accountability will also multiply your results and it will allow you to divide the time in half that it would take you to do it on your own otherwise. And what do I mean by that? I mean that with the right accountability partner, the right person to help you along the way, I believe you can accomplish exponentially more than you would on your own. And you can do it in much less time because you're gonna have someone who's going to come alongside you and encourage you each and every step of the way. So find that accountability. It could be a friend, a significant other or a spouse. It could be a coach. Everybody needs a coach. I posted an article in the notes below from Michael Hyatt, an article why he says everybody needs a coach. Maybe that's you. I don't know, but any, any form, any person, I want you to get accountability. Find that person. Find that group of people that can help you achieve your goals. And finally, number five, play the long game. Now, I've got some bad news. There is no such thing as a free lunch or a get rich, rich quick screen <laughs> scheme when it comes to personal development. It takes time. It takes commitment. It takes investing and working hard each and every day to get where you want to go. It is not going to happen overnight. In fact, it's probably going to take quite a bit longer than you think it is. But patience is not only a virtue when it comes to playing the long game, but it must become a core value of yours. You have to be patient with yourself. You have to be patient with the results. You have to realize what's required to achieve everything that you're trying to do. And finally, I wanna encourage you with this statement when it comes to playing the long game. We can do much more than we think is possible in the long run. And what I mean by that is people often overestimate what they can do in the short term, but they underestimate what they can do in the long term. So I want you to not focus on short-term goals and overestimate and get disappointed when results don't come quickly. I want you to play the long game and see how over time you can achieve many and much more results than you thought were possible when you began. So what do you think? That's the five steps. Please get that free PDF, download it, print it out, make notes on it, Share your comments below. Did you get value from this video? If you did, push that like button and subscribe. I would love to have you get more of the messages on my channel. You can go look. I've got all kinds of videos on your mindset, your goals, and things that you can work on today that will help you not only with your personal development plan, but with your ability to get everything you want out of life. And that is the mission of this channel, is to help you be, do, and have more. And to take aims, attitudes, and actions each and every day in the direction of your biggest goals. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon in another video.